Hey friends, today I am at Animal Kingdom and we are going to experience what it's like to walk on the surface of the sun. So, let's go do this. I only say that because Animal Kingdom is the hottest park. I don't know why every time I'm here it just feels like it's a billion degrees. Regardless, I am not going to let that ruin my day. Hot or not, I'm just happy to be here. And if I end up getting a little sweaty, so be it. At least I'll be riding Expedition Everest. And speaking of Expedition Everest, we're gonna head there first because I haven't been on it since I've been back and it's definitely been one of the rides I've been missing the most. This is actually my first time being back in Animal Kingdom since cast member previews. So actually this is the first time I've been in Animal Kingdom fully open. I just thought of that. Crazy! I had some things I needed to attend to early in the morning, so I wasn't able to get here until 4.12. The park closes at 6 o'clock, so we only have like an hour and 45 minutes. But I really think that's plenty enough time to do all the things I wanted to do. I've already established that Expedition Everest was on the menu, but I'd also like to try to get on Dinosaur, Navi River, and Flight of Passage, but then also get a beer and just take in the views. So we're going to try to get that all accomplished in a little bit less than two hours. It's definitely doable. Expedition Everest is looking like it's about a 20 minute wait. Well, that's what it says. And I'm not familiar with what the queue looks like compared to what the time is. So we're just going to have to go off of what it says. 4.20 right now is the time and we've actually queued up outside. So we haven't even gotten into the main queue area yet. And it actually only took seven minutes. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I feel like that's the way to start an Animal Kingdom day. That was actually so much fun. I missed that ride. It's such a good ride. I love the beginning part where you're just kind of going through the woods. There's just so many good things about it. But now we're gonna make our way to Dino-Rama. Well, we're not gonna go into Dino-Rama. We're actually gonna go to Dinosaur, the attraction, which I don't think is a part of Dino-Rama. I think Dino-Rama is just this area over here and Dinosaur is kind of just in Dino Land USA. One thing I never understood about Dino Rama though is they never play Disney music, I don't think. Like right now they're playing Walking on Sunshine. I don't think that's a Disney song, is it? Prior to actually boarding our time rover, I think I'm gonna go into Restaurantosaurus Lounge, maybe get myself a beer. Feel like I'm really gonna dig this. This is one of my favorite little bars and lounges on Disney property. I love the, all the cool cocktails they make. But of course, you know, I stick to my Bud Light. It really is a nifty little lounge area there. I'm so happy that they added that on. I remember when they first did it, I got really excited and came out here for opening day. You know, we never give Dinosaur its fair credit on the amazing musical score they got going on in these bushes. Oh. 
and Dinosaur will always be one of my favorite attractions. The first time I rode this, I had no idea what to expect and it was the biggest shocker to my life. 15 minutes. Hi. I don't know why they say 15 minutes because it's basically a walk on. A little disappointed that they were actually just keep on running the pre-show and I missed my favorite part where Dr. Seeker goes, hello there. Wow, look at that. This is great. Oh, I am so excited. Oh and seatbelt check. Thank you. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Not our dino. Warning. Meteor shower in rain. I think we're doing great already. Expedition Everest, we stopped and got a beer and rode Dinosaur 30 minutes. And now let's just beeline straight to the Valley of Mora, Pandora. Straight to the Valley of Mora, Pandora. And we actually might run into some friends when we're over there. That'd be fun. It is so empty in here too. Really awesome to see it like this because it actually makes everything else kind of like stand out. Like I've never noticed that the walkways were actually so wide. <laughs> wow, the things you learn, huh? And now it's time for Navi River, 15 minutes, but everything so far that's been 15 minutes, hello, Enjoy your journey. thank you, has been a walk on. And some friends. Look at that, Josh and Taylor, Walt Disney World couple. Hi, Hi. new friend. <laughs> And for the first time today, it looks like we're actually going to be waiting the expected wait time or even more. Wow. Overall, it was just about a 15 minute wait, which actually isn't that bad because you got to think like all the other rides, we didn't wait at all. So this is great. I'm happy to ride it. Look at these little boats. <laughs> Josh and Taylor's got the big cameras out to get some nifty looking shots. Such a relaxing boat ride. I especially like the music and the smells. 
just kind of goes together very well. Taylor agrees. Yes, she does. 5.42 now, and Flight of Passage is a 20 minute wait. So we couldn't possibly ride this, get off, and then ride again if we wanted to. And then within one hour and 45 minutes, we would have done Expedition Everest, Dinosaur, Navi River, and Flight of Passage. I feel so happy that I decided to just come to Animal Kingdom anyways. I said earlier that I had some things I had to deal with in the morning, and then I thought like, oh, is it worth going or not? Totally worth going. So happy I came. And I didn't notice until right now, but it looks like this is the new spot where you throw your loose change. Look at that. Why though? There's no water around. And I had no idea that Dr. Jackie Ogden had her own book. Look at that. And then Jane Goodell, Reason for Hope. Amazing stuff. And I forget that they actually skipped that whole entire beginning. So none of that long pause and the uh... We're just straight to Dr. Ogden. Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi. Connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. Does anybody else think that Dr. Ogden looks like Sigourney Weaver from Aliens? Sigourney Weaver was in the original. Attention drivers. Stow your gear on the back yeah. wall, and then get onto but the lunch chair the way looks we like showed you in the video. Weaver. Put on your flight. It. I hope you guys enjoyed all of that amazing footage that I put in there. I put it on the top half, which is a no-go, I guess. I didn't know that. That was my first time actually trying to video from the sitting down position. Usually sometimes I sneak my camera and uh, I video the screen from like being in the seat. But I tried it this way and I put it in the wrong spot. So if you ever do that, put it in the low one. But now the park is closed, and it looks like it's closed in just about the right time. The skies are looking angry, sounding a little angry too. So at this point, we're gonna make a dash to the exit, but I wanna go into the merchandise locations first to see if I can get some cool stuff, and then we'll probably take off. And before the park closes, they always leave the merchandise locations open for a little bit, so you can kind of explore and get your last minute purchases done. And you can see all the Haunted Mansion merchandise. And take a look at this shirt. This is the first time I've seen this. $59 for a button up. Look at that. I don't know what I would wear that for, but I really like it. I don't know. I might have to get this, guys. Then they also have this one. And I wanted this one as well. But they never had it in my size. And here they do. Wow, Animal Kingdom is the place to come because most of these things I was looking at before but they never had in my size and they are fully stocked here. The problem with things is when you see so much that you like, you don't know how to narrow it down to what you actually want to get and I'm having a very hard time with that right now because I just come across this villain's button up. Wow! Oh man, I am so torn between the Haunted Mansion one and this one. Oh boy. They're both the same price, but I'm not seeing, I've never seen any of this before. And now we have villain socks, a whole sock collection. Wow. So I think I'm gonna do the most responsible thing and actually just think about my purchase before I actually just buy something. I mean, I would like to buy them all, but that's way too expensive. And I probably wouldn't wear them as much as I would if I just bought one. So I think I narrowed it down between the villains and the Haunted Mansion one. I'm gonna think about it and then I'm gonna come back and buy it. Probably Animal Kingdom because that seems like the only place I've seen them so far. But as you can see, while we were shopping, the rain has come down on Animal Kingdom. So I'm going to end the video here because I'm probably going to have to put the camera away to run to the car so it doesn't get soaking wet. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. 
We'll see you next time. Bye.